Uh, this is the Tuong ferry terminal with a couple of pontoons banged up against it. Private pontoons up against publicly funded ferry terminals, not a very good mix that. Looking over towards Orley Park and Hill End and you can see the boat shed down there near the the sailing club is all underwater and then reaching around to the St Lucia Reach where the people are cleaning up and they've just really got enormous amount of stuff out on the footpath and on the roadways that they've collected. So there we have it, the 2022 one in a hundred year event. Uh, once again we get we get a, a bit of a, a throwback or a retrospective of 1974 floods. There's the boat shed at the regatta and the regatta itself, which I think must have gone partly underwater. But anyway, there's um, the road beside the regatta is shut off. Coro Drive is now flowing through, but the bikeway is shut because it's underwater. We're looking at high tide here and all the way back to the city, the uh, Tower of Power in the distance, cranes on the horizons, all built on the floodplain. This is a river with a city problem.